For the last lesson, we've learned the application of ticker timer and analyzing the motion using a ticker tape. And for this lesson, we're going to learn how to calculate the velocity and acceleration of a trolley using a ticker tape. What I've drawn here is a ticker tape marked with dots with constant velocity. We all know constant velocity, you can see it by looking at this equal distance between dots. So to calculate the velocity, first we need to cut the ticker tape into a 10 tick strip. Remember, one tick is the time interval between two dots. Each dot is not one tick. So let's measure 10 ticks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This is the first 10 tick strip. And second, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And the second 10 tick strip. And so, after we cut this 10 tick strip, it will look something like this. Let's check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yes, 10 tick. And since we set the vibration, the frequency of vibration pin as 50 hertz, it means that the vibrating pin marks 50 dot space, which is also known as ticks, within one second. And therefore, one tick equals to one over 50 ticks second, which is equals to 0 0.02. So each tick, the period for each tick is 0 0.02 second. So now, let's assume that um, the length of this strip as 10 cm, and which means that the trolley which pulled the ticker tape travels a displacement of 10 cm along this 10 tick period. And now we know that each tick is 0 0.02 second. So for 10 tick seconds, the time taken for this 10 tick period is 10 times 0 0.02 second. You get 0 0.2 second. From this, you can calculate the velocity by taking the displacement s of the value 10 cm and you divide it by the time taken which is 0 0.2 second by calculating this you can get the answer 50 cm per second and to calculate acceleration first you are given a strip with certain length of dots I will assume this strip has uh, 6 ticks, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 ticks and 7 dots. And with the frequency fifty hertz. And we know acceleration, you need to know the direction of motion. So 
I assume the, tick, the ticker tape is moving in this way. We all know that to calculate acceleration, you need the formula final velocity minus initial velocity over the time taken. And for this strip of ticker tape, the average velocity between A and B, which is the first two ticks, the first two dots, sorry, is the initial velocity. Whereas for the final velocity is the average velocity between C and D. And now, given that the length between point A and point B is 0 0.5 cm and the length between point C and point D is 1.5 cm and the time taken for each of these ticks is 0 0.02 because the frequency is the same as this. By this, we can calculate the initial velocity u which is the displacement between A and B 0 0.5 cm over the time taken between this A and B which is 0 0.02 second and you get the value 25 cm per second same goes for final velocity the displacement between C and D is 1.5 cm and the time taken which is one tick is 0 0.02 second and by calculating it you get the value 75 cm per second for the time taken for acceleration, since we said that it is the average velocity, average final and initial velocity, so the time starts at the the time starts for acceleration is from the midpoint of AB of the initial velocity and the midpoint of CD, the final velocity. So, we calculate the time taken between these two periods. One tick from the midpoint of first and second to the midpoint of second and third. Two tick to the midpoint. Three tick. Four tick. And five ticks. Therefore, the time taken is 5 ticks and we multiply it by the time taken for each ticks 0 0.02 second you calculate it you get 0 0.1 second remember even though the total is 6 ticks but for calculating acceleration time taken for acceleration you need to take the starting point as the midpoint of the initial velocity and the end point from the midpoint of final velocity. So it is only 5 ticks. And this, the time taken, you can substitute it into the formula. And also these two, initial and final velocity, you can get A equals to 75 minus 25 over 0 0.1 second and the value is 500 don't forget the unit centimeter per second square that's all for calculating the velocity and acceleration for the next lesson I will talk about ticker tape chart stay tuned